Well, Bill Dixon, owner, Dixon Yacht Design. This is my <laughs> 40th year as a yacht designer. Well, Believe congratulations. 40 years a yacht designer. Fantastic. Uh, 37 running my own business, which is a bit scary, really, because I started very young and it's a very big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> up on you. suddenly here after all these years. But it was originally Angus Primrose. It was Angus Primrose. And again, Primrose. Uh, some of our older <laughs> viewers might remember because that uh, Angus Primrose, so that was, I mean, I remember the old Moody's, which of course really started the whole Moody thing off, didn't it? Well, that's right. The first few were all designed by Angus. Yeah. Then I. But he was designing yachts way before that. Well, he was with John Inningworth back in oh the 60s goodness, designing okay. racing boats. So there's quite a long history behind the company. Um, and as you know, Angus sadly was lost at sea. In, mm. in, one, in his Moody, I think, wasn't in it? In his Moody. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't, it was only because um, I, I'd worked with Angus working on some of the Moody's that the, the Moody team, and, and we're actually sitting in Moody's Marina, the old Moody's Marina here, <laughs> actually decided to support me in a brand new range of boats. Oh, I see. So that oh, actually right, right, right. was the thing that really gave me the, the ability to... Well, and to Moody's from then, you, you, I mean, I don't, I don't suppose you remember how many different models, but I mean, it, I, mean I remember Moody's were probably the preeminent, I suppose Moody and Westerly were the preeminent sailboat builders in the... 70s, 80s? Well, we were the number 90s. three brand in Europe uh, in the early 90s, mm. late 80s, early 90s. Um, you know, we were, to our designs, well, Princess, but Marine Projects then, were probably building 450 boats a yeah. year. Yeah. It was a lot of boats. And it's amazing because those boats are still sought after after all these years. And of course, we must have done, I don't know, it's probably 40 Moody's. Oh, what, of different designs? Yes, of varying designs. So they probably built over 4,000, I guess, now. Three and a half, four thousand. 4,000. <laughs> it's extraordinary, isn't it? It is. And, and actually, you know, I started designing Moody's in 1978, and I'm still designing them today. Oh, so you've, the, the company that's taken on Moody's? Well, Hansa Group yeah. owned the Moody brand, mm. and we still design Moody's, and there'll be a new one announced at the Sodorf Boat Show. Very good. And... Not just sailing boats, because obviously the the the, the, uh, the you know I certainly know as uh, Dixon as a as, as sailing boat orientated, but actually you've probably designed and built more motorboats. Would that be fair to say? I think overall we probably designed more sailing boats, but because from from too. very early on, I decided that the business needs to be power and sail. In fact, funny enough, one of my earliest boats I worked on was we did a design in 1978 with Angus for a semi-displacement motorboat, ironically built in Taiwan, and that was the, first, that was the, the country I got my first motorboat contract from. Oh, right. And well, we're, still doing, we're still doing designs, motorboat designs in Taiwan to this day. <laughs> so, and, and today, probably 60% to 70%, even 75% of our business is power boats. So, you know, we do uh, both super yachts and an awful lot of production mo production boats, primarily power. So, so just uh, just in terms of the motor boats, who do you actually design for? Just so we've got kind of an idea of, of, uh, of where to look out for a Dixon design well, motor boat. Well, quite a lot of different countries, but if you, Pearl Yachts. Um, so that's UK based? UK based. The new 95 came out at Cannes Boat Show. Um, sea Line. We now design all the Sea Line models right. built by Hansa Group. Um, Johnson Yachts in Taiwan, we've been working with them for 30 years. We're just finishing a new 115 design for them. Um, then I've worked with companies like Perry Yachts, building semi-production boats from about 34 to 41 meters, uh, composite motor boats. Um, I've got probably half a dozen companies in China building production motor boats to our designs. Mm. Uh, we've done power boats for Royal Denship 84, 81, 120, 105. Um, we've done a lot, and we do hulls for the Azimut Magellano range. So, and then we do power cats. So now we do power cats as well for, for Hudson Power Cats. So we actually do a 
great wide range mm. of, of power boats. That, and I suppose my, boats. I mean, from my point of view, sort of my passion, I guess, is the, is the larger sailing boats. So, uh, you know, if we're looking at something, I suppose, 30 metres and above, I mean, we've got a picture of... Um, uh, this of, is actually a 68 metre six, Yeah. Uh, so what and in terms of actually the boats that you've built what would you say um, in terms of size range on the super yacht front so really we're looking from 24 meters upwards uh, how many have you designed roughly roughly um, I would say a dozen and not all of those in Turkey because you Turkey you're quite oh no 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 not at all in uh, no in fact we pretty much built in all of the major what we call yacht yards like Alloy Yachts have built our boat, Fitters built our boat, Royal Houseman's built our boat, Holland Yacht Bow's built. Baltic boats, Yachts. Baltic Yachts, yeah. um, yachting developments, so Vaudry, Vaudry Miller. A lot of the, the main yards are built boats to our design all over the world, custom boats. And, and I think Baltic have just, have just launched one of yours? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it? it's actually a 20, 25 metre composite sailing yacht, real sweet boat. Um, really, fantastic and the owner of that quality. boat would he would he be a cruising man or a racing man? What was the boat? The, de the boat is designed around having a twenty-five meter with the comfort and the service of a forty meter. <laughs> so there's there's an owner's cabin and one guest cabin. There's four crew, and it's designed to for fun sailing, yeah, but also for good comfort and good service. Um, this client, we've designed boats, bigger boats for before. Oh, so he's come actually. So down. he's actually moving down. And funny enough, he was the second of our clients that moved down. Antares, the 40 meter we built at Houseman, Royal Houseman, he moved down to a 30 meter boat. And but still, it's interesting that he's still retaining a four crew option even in the smaller boat. Well, it, it's. It, I'm really enthusiastic about this boat because it's it's got all the luxury of a much larger boat yeah but it, it isn't our fun to sell because it's the size it is yeah and it's big enough to be comfortable it's small enough that you don't have any it's a lifting keel boat so you've got no problem getting in and out of harbors parking you know, up you know, to nice beaches and, and all sorts of things yeah. and still and because you're not cramming it full mm. It's a it's an amazingly spacious, comfort, comfortable boat. And obviously, he's gone for to Baltic yachts, who are now renowned for building lightweight, pretty high tech. Yes. And he's gone that route rather than a more traditional, perhaps al aluminium. Well, well no, because I think w w this boat is highly spec. Mm. So it literally has everything you would see on a much bigger boat. But because it's built in composite, because it's built by Baltic. You know the weight is really good. It's not light, but it's you know it's 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 relatively light. Mm. So that means it's a sporty boat. Mm. So it's a combination of comfort and sporty boat. And and is he looking to sail long distance in the boat, or is it more a sort of a, a, a well, I can't say a weekend sailor because it no, it's both it's actually. Hardly. I think it's both. It will be both. I think the boat might spend the, the summer up in the Baltic. Mm. But again, he may take it across the Atlantic, do the Caribbean. No, Atlantic, no, this will just be summer, summer sailing. Oh, right. So it is. But, you know, it, it's, the, 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 uh, you know, the owner loves just going for a sail, basically. And with not too many people on the boat, yeah. um, just the enjoyment of going for a sail. I mean, even at sort of 40 odd metres with which you could in theory have, let's say, four guest cabins on. I mean, some boats have five, some have less. But you don't always using those guest cabins with guests on board. I mean, a lot of owners are only sailing with perhaps husband and wife and perhaps two guests. A lot of the time, that's what I Which find. is why this guy yeah. has gone for a relatively big boat, but not lots of cabins. No, just comfort. Mm. Interesting. And, and why way? not? You know, you could... One of the interesting things, and I think a lot of people should think, you know, think about it because they come and come to me for the design. But you know, have your motor yacht, have your really big, comfortable boat, mm. and then follow around with a nice sailing boat. Mm. You've got the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't have to be too big. What, what about Tim? You have to ask this question in a minute. Um, um, would, would you see this as a, a good solution for a, a motor yacht having a thirty-meter motor yacht with a big, own, big owner's 
suite and a, a guest cabin, and that's it, just two cabins. Does it translate to a, well, to a well, I, I, I think it would, wouldn't it? I don't... Yes, I, I, I really think it does, and I think... It, well... I, it, it's not an emerging market yet, but there is an awful lot of 30 to 40 metre motorboats being built, mm. and custom boats still, even though there's an awful lot of production boats on the market in that size range. If you actually... and it, it's relatively... You know, the, the, the outlay on a vessel of that size is, is you can't say modest, but in the, in the scheme of things, is not great. So why not just build what you want? If, it, if you're passionate about what you want to do with the mm. boat, why not build what you want? I think the trouble is people go to boat shows and they just see a boat. But there's an awful lot more you can do with a little bit of an imagination and you know just come and talk to the, to the likes of your, yourselves and us well that, i think that's the key isn't it is, is that you with the experience that you've got both and, and let's say face it, it is sail and power uh you know coming to have a chat with you you can give that the client the benefit of of all the knowledge that you have and try and stitch that up into a, a, a way that it suits the, 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 that particular client into a design that works for him rather than him buying something that's always going to be a compromise. Absolutely and this is what this is what we used to do obviously a lot with smaller sailing boats where I think we had knowledgeable clients mm. who knew what they wanted but needed the likes of us to help them get it and I think the problem today is a lot of people I don't know whether they're scared of the process because it's really easy to do or what, but there's less, less people coming to talk to us mm. and then rather going to talk to production builders or semi-custom builders and buying something that's already built, where actually all our clients but is love that an the process. thing as well though i mean i think a lot of people do like to ha see something that's actually there and certainly if they're going to have to wait i mean how long would it take to build a 35 meter project from talking to you to to actually launching the, the well the, i the think boat, i think long. today you know one of the things you have to do is is plan and speed up the production of a boat so, and that's part of the process that you look at. Yeah, absolutely. With the builder, mm. you know, let me the, the the 85 at Baltic. We start. They started laminating the hull in July 2017. Right. And it was launched July 2018. Oh, that's incredible, isn't it? Well, obviously, there was there's planning before yeah. that, but relatively, it's a it's a quick build. Mm. Antares three built in New Zealand at YDL, she was a 14 month build. So and what length is she? 30 meters. Yeah. So it is, it is possible to speed these things up, um, but it's all plat. And I think the way people are building their boats is changing, so it's possible to do this. Could you just take a pause? I just need to change the batteries. And well, so 